Hey guys, Seth Lee here back with another Apex Legends video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now in today's video, we're gonna be going over some news as well as an update in the patch notes that just came out. So let's just go ahead and hop right into it. Respawn tweeted out about 10 minutes ago saying, heads up Legends, we just pushed an Apex Legends patch that includes several fixes, including the following. So first off, they fixed a crash affecting PS5 players when they are in a lobby. I know a lot of you guys were struggling with that, but you PS5 players shouldn't have have to worry about that anymore. Lastly, on the patch notes, they said they fixed a game logic error that some players were experiencing with gifting. So that has been fixed as well as PS5 players crashing in a lobby. So I'm really happy about that. I know a lot of you guys PlayStation players are as well, but I wanted to go over some other things. First off, we have something that Furia Zera tweeted out saying this is Apex matchmaking. And as you guys can see, he gained 288 RP, but he was playing against a silver player, five gold players, 11 platinum players, and two diamond players and only one master in Apex Predator, which definitely is a problem. TSM Imperial Hall replied to this saying, early morning cues, I don't get that later in the day. To which Sammy Duck, the technical director on Apex Legends at Respawn replied saying, we actually found a bug in matchmaking after analyzing this game. All should be good. So it does look like they probably did fix this matchmaking bug that caused you to match with players of different skill levels. But I wanted to make sure to let you guys know about this just in case you guys do actually match against someone who is of much higher skill than you that is a bug but they likely have fixed this next i wanted to go over something that is still listed on the dev tracker while they have fixed the crashing on ps5 in lobbies they still have reports of game freezing on pc so i wanted to let you guys know about that they are still investigating this issue and hopefully they will have a fix for that in the near future next i wanted to go over a reddit post i saw it didn't get many upvotes but i thought it was pretty cool it is a concept for gibraltar's gun shield so as you guys know you do get a scale while you're aiming down sights to know how much of the gun shield you do have left. Well, if you guys look at this concept that was posted on Reddit, this has a scale in the bottom left showing you how much of your passive you have. I think this would be cool because you'd be able to know how much of that gun shield you have while not aiming down sights, but that is something small. So hopefully they do add that in the future, but they don't have to. Next, I wanted to go over something I tweeted out and I said, do you guys want a new weapon or a gun in season 16? to which 85% of people replied in the poll, yes, they do want a new gun in season 16. So hopefully Respawn will fulfill our hopes for that and we will get a new weapon in season 16, but you never know. Next, I wanted to go over something that TSM Imperial Hall said on his stream, and he has been a play tester for Apex Legends, so I'll go ahead and play that clip for you guys right now. A million, it's in 18 months. Hi, thank you for the gift. Do I miss Wraith? Oh yeah. Listen, I play tested. And I cannot wait for next season. Oh my god. I can't wait. Julia, thanks for 12 months. I'm not leaking shit. It's just pause, good note. Positive, good note. Season 16. Season 16. So as you guys heard, somebody asked, do you miss Wraith? And he said, I play tested season 16 and he cannot wait. He went on to say he didn't want to leak anything, but it is a good positive note for Wraith. So we'll have to wait and see what kind of buff they have for Wraith in season 16, but hopefully it will be something good. Make sure to comment down below what you guys want to change for Wraith in season 16. But that's all I have for this video for you guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out a ton. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. But it's been your boy, Seth Lee. And I'm out.